Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about wire stripping. Because sooner or later, while you're building your projects, you'll have to strip some wire. You'll have to get rid of that insulation to get access to the bare copper wire so you get solder to a PC board or to crimp on a connector. So in this video, we'll look at tools and techniques and how we could strip wire fast and efficiently. Now, if you carry around a Swiss Army knife with you, you probably notice this little notch on one of your blades. Now that's your wire stripper. So you get your wire and you score it with the knife blade first. Then you apply it to the stripping notch. You put your thumb on there and pull. And that will strip your wire. Okay, another pocket tool is your Leatherman type tool. And some of them have an option of a wire stripper built in, like this one here. Now you can see it has two half circle cutting blades. So you just pick the appropriate gauge for your wire and you insert it in and crimp and pull and your wire is stripped. Now if you need to strip a wire in an emergency situation and you don't have any stripping tools you can use a lighter you just put a small kink in your wire and you heat that part up until it just starts to melt and burn and then get a cloth well, and while it's still hot just grab it and pull and it will pull the insulation off. Now, I've got an example of one that I've already done it to. And that's it here where I've used a lighter to pull the insulation off. Okay the next stripper we're going to look at is made by Miller Tools. And this one here has two V-cut blades and it has a little adjustment wheel, an offset wheel where you could turn to adjust the hole size for different gauge wire. And they make another type which is similar this one here and this one has an adjusting screw that you slide up and down that will adjust where it stops so you can adjust the, the stripping hole and I use these most of the time just by feel I got it set up so it closes right right shut so just by feel I could actually feel it and strip okay this is the most common type of wire stripper that you'll find and I use this one the most. This one's a dual blade half circle wire stripper and it's made by Paladin and it's important to buy a good name brand so the wire holes will be accurate for your different wire gauges and it'll have good alignment. Now this type of wire stripper is very common in, in, in the many tools that you'll find out there like automotive tools like this one here has the same type of wire stripper but again it's important to buy a good brand. Okay, if you need to do a lot of precision wire stripping using small gauge wire, this is what I use. Now this wire stripper will strip from 20 gauge to 30 gauge. You can see the chart there and above it is it's an equivalent millimeter size. And I have my sliding adjustment for, this, for the length of strip. And if I want to strip 24 gauge wire, which is half a millimeter, I just dial that in on the front and I insert my wire until I hit my gauge and I press down and pull and that will strip my wire. Okay next we're going to look at a couple of specialized wire strippers. Now I use this one to get into tight areas like inside the engine compartment of a car getting deep down into the engine compartment I can get down there easily especially if a cable is pointing towards you and you need to strip it. This one's easy to get down there and get access to the wire and strip it. This has two V blades and a little adjustment screw to address the size of the hole for the for the wire size. Now there's a similar type, this one here. It's a similar to the last one, except this one is self-adjusting. So you just apply the wire inside and and press and she'll self-adjust and she'll strip, which is handy again to get into tight places where the cable is pointing at you. Okay, the next stripper we're going to look at has no moving parts but it's a very efficient stripper. Now this will strip 22 and 24 gauge solid conductor wire and it's mainly used to strip communication cable like a 50 pair communication cable so if you want to terminate a 50 pair communication cable you have to strip all 100 wires to do a wire wrap termination. So this is the wire stripper to use and you can see it's shaped in a special way to fit your hand so it fits your hand like that. So you fit it in your hand and you bring the wire into the stripper and you bring the wire up to the red part of the handle and you hold it there 
and you just pull and it'll strip the wire. Now when you get really good at it and you have to strip all 100 wires, what you do, you just flick it up to the wire and it will grab it and as you pull it will strip it. And you do that to all 100 wires, you can do that very fast. You, you just keep flicking the wire and stripping the wire and you can get it all 100 done in no time at all. Now if you're doing any automotive projects, you want all your strips to be nick free. Because if you nick any of the copper wires and you expose that wire or that the connector to vibration, like in an automobile, that strip or that connection will fail after time. So the way to do strips without nicking the wire is use a thermal stripper, like this one here. So you apply the wire into the thermal stripper and you feed it into it until it hits the gauge, that's, that's your measuring gauge, how far you want to strip. And then you bring it down into the, into the narrow part of the stripper and the thermal stripper will heat up the insulation to a point where you can take it off but it won't nick the copper in any way. So there's your strip that's nick free. Okay next we're going to look at stripping coaxial cable and I have some RG58 coax cable. And this is my stripper here. It has two sides. It's your first cut on one side and your second cut on the other side. It's kind of like a pencil sharpener. So you insert the cable in and you turn. And that's going to take out the outer sheath and you can see it coming out right here. You just keep turning until you feel it stop. And there it is there. And that's taken off the outer sheath. Now you just turn this around to do the to do the braid and the center conductor. Now you can get these in different sizes. Here's one for LMR 400. Now there's also another tool similar to the one-handed stripper, like this one here, but it only has two sizes. One for the outer sheath and another size for the center conductor. And it's very fast and it works very well for coax cable. Okay, this is the last strip tool we're going to have a look at in this video. Now this is for stripping heavy gauge cable similar to the battery cable in your car. Now if we look at the top of this stripper, there's a knife blade that sticks out of the top, out of the tip here, and we can adjust how far it sticks out by this little set screw. So we could, we could set how far it's going to dig into the insulation. Now I don't have a battery cable with me, so I have a pipe to simulate a battery cable. So we'll put it on the pipe. So the first thing you do, we do with the first cut, we score it around like that, and we push down on this, on this lever, and that will turn the cutting blade 90 degrees and then we slide it off this way. So now we'll have a cut lengthwise and we'll have the score around the cable so we just peel off the insulation and we pop it off and we'll have a perfect strip for, for a heavy gauge cable.